Hey, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, bringing you guys a sneaker review video, and if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. But basically, this is going to be a review over these LeBron 9 uh, Elites versus the regular LeBron 9s, and you can see that there's quite a bit of differences. So they really went all out, um, and I've been waiting to see these in person, face to face, next to the other LeBrons. Uh, they went all out on these guys, um, in my opinion. Uh, there's nothing, it's like a remnants of the Kobe 9s, but everything is like uh, to the next level on, on, on the elites. And so you can see just from the beginning, if you look here, you can see the pattern right here along this area, uh, is, is a big cutout on this pair. This is all carbon fiber along the bottom half. And then the top half has a mesh screen on it. So you have a mesh screen right there instead of, uh, of this for the top part. I personally, I think it's a downgrade, because this material, ha unless this material is extremely uh, durable, because it looks like it's just sewn in there, um, it, potentially you can have a blowout on that side, which would be pretty bad. Um, but that's one one of the biggest uh, differences I see, obviously, other than the carbon fiber um, and then the regular. The other thing is you can see right here, they cut off the Nike swish, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, that comes up here versus the other one where it just goes uh, all the way up. Um, I like the fact that they did all black insole right here or the, not insole why did I say that the air pocket uh the like it's you can't really see it which is pretty dope and it's the same as that one right there obviously anyway uh they changed let's see they uh they changed the back tabs let's look at those real quick so this one has a pull tab on it and maybe I can get a little bit better of a look here that one has the pull tab I like this one actually quite a bit um this one they had to change though because you can see the other big difference is the the sock liner. So they did a, a, a like Hirachi style uh, liner on on the elites and just has a regular back back tab area on the uh, the regular nines. But uh, but look at that. That's pretty. That's, I mean I'm I'm assuming that will be pretty good uh, cushioning and and added support for for the people that ball on these. Um, the other big difference. Let's see toe boxes. They had some you, more visible of the cutouts. I, it looks like they have some. No, actually, they're not even on these ones. Um, so they added some more cutouts in this area, and that's uh, will be probably really good for ventilation uh, in comparison to these ones on this side where there's nothing, but you can see the fly wire underneath it. Uh, the the laces are the same on each, except for these ones have the Kevlar laces, um, and you can see on the tips, right there, it says Kevlar, and then on these ones, I believe it just says mango, uh, no, mango. No, it doesn't say mango. It says LeBron James. Um, these are the mango colorway. Gosh, this camera. All right, uh, so that's that. And then the the biggest change that I probably am most appreciative of is the tongue. That was my biggest complaint on this uh, this style LeBron because the way it just hangs down and it looks just like it's ripped right here, but it's actually not. It's just the way it's sewn in. The tongue to me is kind of uh, kind of jinky looking. Uh, I like the fact that they went more with a like Hirachi style liner in uh, the elites. And I, I apologize, it's really hard to get like a good angle on these with uh, the camera, uh, considering that they're all black. But you can see that it's a sock liner, kind of like uh, the Hirachi style or whatever. Really dig that versus these ones. Now you can see on this the padding from uh, the inner inner area and then this one doesn't have any obviously because it has that mesh screen that's my biggest concern is that that mesh screen like I don't know if that's gonna hold up or not but all in all what do you guys think man you guys think it's uh, worth checking out these uh, elites do you think that the quality is that much of a improvement from the original ones that um, it justifies uh, you guys paying extra for the shoe I mean I know that they're gonna have to, to charge extra oh yeah and the last thing I didn't show you guys is the soles um, I know they're going to have to charge extra because they had to redo everything to make these possible. Uh, even the even the soles. I mean, the machining for the the soles and stuff have to be done. Uh, you can see right here. There's a visible zoom uh, slot slot right there now versus a, the other ones don't have any. And maybe I turn on my flash. Let's see if that works. A little bit better. So you can see no visible zoom slot here. Visible zoom. Then you can see the the little shank plate right here. You can see it's like it's kind of inset now into that and it's separate from the other half so 
you can see that they added this into it on this one it's just one piece so kind of another big difference that they added in there even the pa pattern down at the bottom half and I apologize it's really bright even the pattern down this half this this little diamond area back here or the triangle area is actually a bit bigger and it's in a different pattern as this one this one's just in a little this one's more of a diamond I guess this one's more of a triangle um, the traction is uh, even a little bit different all in all I mean they really just they just gave the whole shoe a face of it it's literally just a different shoe so uh, I don't know my thoughts are this like I think that they did a great job on them I think that the shoes uh, look great and if you're a big fan of the uh, Kobe and LeBron nines or whatever it is um, then uh, or I guess the sevens I'm sorry the LeBron nines and the and the Kobe sevens if you're a big fan of them then uh, it's definitely worth checking them out it could be worth a purchase if you guys have the money for them they're kind of steep though uh, that's the one thing that they did go. Sorry, guys. They did go up on LeBron nines here was 170, and then the LeBron nine elites were 250. So that's a 80 dollar difference. It's more than I that I thought originally. 80 dollars more. Um, but in my opinion, these definitely are are a higher build quality. The only thing that I have to complain about is this mesh screen and the possibility of of puncturing that. Other than that, I mean. All in all, these uh, these shoes are pretty awesome. Um, anyway, let me know you guys' thoughts. Leave a, leave a comment below. And then I'm going to have also the reviews of these two uh, next to uh, some of the other shoes as well. So the Kobe Elite versus the regular Kobe's as well as the Hyper Dunks versus the regular Hyper Dunks. And then I will also have one last video that you guys will see if you, if you don't check it out versus the home versus the away uh, colorways of LeBron. So hopefully you guys like these videos. I apologize I'm splitting them up into so many. But... I really want to get them out there and I want to have them separate so uh, people can search on them um, easier than uh, just trying to find one video that's like 80 minutes long. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Check back for more content. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks.